Hello everyone from Party Fructal. This is Sergio coming at you. Today is October the 5th and I'm gonna show you my uh, Chicago hardy fig. Right now reaching about eight feet high, probably a little taller, and it grew beautifully this year. Best, I mean, look, look at the size of that bush. It's gotta be over three meters uh, wide and eight feet tall. And although it grows so beautifully, uh, there's not much to show for other than growth. Um, for some reason, this spring, we had a very late frost and that frost threw off the timing of all the fruits and a lot of them, they just die back. But as you can see here, all these figlets, they're late, very, very late. I mean, they should be ripening at this point, but this one, I doubt I will get any single fig from this uh, tree this year. And all because of that frost because growth, it was excellent. Um, but that's all there is to it. The frost, um, it was already having little figlets when the frost came, and that set it back month. So that's what we got. But not all the trees uh, have the same uh, luck. So I'm gonna go back here. This is my brown turkey, also had the same effect. Although, I want you to think, these fruits, these trees are in the ground, permanent. They don't get moved, they don't get uh, tipped sideways. So last year I covered them up quite well, and mulched them up. Um, and they had the best success rate ever. But that frost threw them off. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna come over here. Look at that, tomatoes are all done. Now, I want you to see here, I have these uh, Italian ever-bearing figs <clears throat> and they are um, late also because it, they had just planted a week earlier uh, in the ground and they, uh, <clears throat> they also suffer uh, from being late. Uh, by this point last year I have eaten all the figs pretty much that were in the tree but this is what it is that we have today. October the 5th and I want you to see my Italian everberry look how beautiful that that's looking and there's another one down here that I believe they are ripe look at the production on the tree that's quite a good number of fruits and I even made <clears throat> an air layer right down here Let me move this leaves back right down there so my I'm gonna move a little bit, sorry about that. But I wanted to show you my air layer. Um, so I did it on this branch, this branch here, and this part here. So it was a very low branch, so I filled this up with soils, and there are roots coming all the way to the edge, right there, look at that. Those are roots coming up. So this one is gonna be a, uh, a multiplier so <clears throat> I did that in one of the branches and because it was getting too wide so I'm gonna clip it back next spring I'll probably make another from the other lower branch and we'll have another extra tree coming from this one so let me see hopefully I don't know which one is riper but we're gonna take this one off can see it, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice and soft. Oh, came right out. So, look at that beautiful fake. Don't know how good it is because it's already uh, very late, but we'll give it a try. Put a baby right there. I'm going to go get that other one. Yeah. So, we need to see. Yeah, look at that, came right off. So we got those two. They're not huge fig, but they're not large, large fig either. So I don't know how many grams they are, but we'll give it a try. See how good that is.
Hmm. Look at that. Beautiful pinkish honey, sort of. Um, and it looks and it smells very, very fresh. So I'm gonna give it a try. See how good it is. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. That is very, very sweet. Wow. I guess the cool nights are giving this extra sweetness to it. Um, it's more than was what I was expecting to be sweet. Mm. I don't know how many grams this way. I seen that a lot of people uh, like to uh, weigh them off. Got to be in the forty or fifty grams, I believe. Well, so I get a scale. I don't really know. So look at that beautiful flesh. It's glistening with uh, the honey, and it's uh, mm. I don't think any seeds in it. Very little crunch, and um, the skin is very soft, very thin, very delicious. Mm. So you go guys, I'm not gonna make a very long video. Um, but I want you to see that if your plants are growing very long, like over here, well, you can do the same thing. Use some air layer, put a little container there, put some soil to it, remove the bark, remove the, ca the cambium layer, and you're gonna have an extra tree for next year. So, and that's what I will do. So there you go, guys, from Patio Frutal. Like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a great fake season. Bye.